Okay, good morning class. How are you feeling today? Are you excited to the topic that we are going to discuss today? I think you are. So before anything else, everyone is requested to stand for the opening prayer. Okay, let us solve the part presence of the Lord. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Heavenly Father, thank you for this wonderful day that you're giving us. Thank you for the knowledge and wisdom guide that we have class for today. I hope that everyone must be participative in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, once again, good morning. By the way, I'm your teacher for today. I am Melan Rang. So for today is I will going to discuss to you something about grammar. So may I know about your own idea about grammar? Okay, please stand up, Mr. Obedin Shaw. Okay, what can you say when you hear the word grammar? Okay, very good. Please sit down. When we say grammar, it is defined as the body of rules that describe the structure of words, phrases, clauses, and sentences in the English grammar. Okay, did you get it? Okay, class, for today, I will be discussing to you about verb tenses. So, okay, class. What can you say when you hear the word verb tenses? Okay, very good. When we say verb tenses, it refers to when the action and a sentence take places, whether it happened in the past, is happening in the present, or will happen in the future. Okay, class, here are the three major parts of verb tenses. First one is the past tense. So this is when an event has already happened, which is the researcher explained the unusual result. Second one is the present tense. So this is when an event is actually happening. The last one is the future tense. So this is when an event has not taken place yet. Okay? Did you get it? Okay guys, we need to check and clarify this sentence is what kinds of verb tenses. And look at each of this sentence and decide what tense it has been written in. Example number one is we went for a walk. So who are willing to answer this question? This stand up, Darwin. Okay, very good. This sentence refers to the past because this sentence when an event has already happened, right? Okay, proceed to the example number two. George will rush into school today. So this what kind of this verb tenses? Okay, please stand up, Ruby. Okay, very good. This sentence refers to the future tense because this is when an event has not taken place yet. Okay, did you get it? Okay, example number three is Lucy will be driving me to school today. So, what kind of this verb tenses? Okay, please stand up, Rooney. Okay, very good. This sentence is refers to the future tense again. Because uh, this sentence when an event has not taken place yet. Okay, did you get it? Okay, another one. I am smelling my supper cooking in the kitchen okay what kind of this verb tenses anyone okay very good this sentence refers to the present tense because this sentence when an event is actually 
hopping in. Did you get it? Okay, present. Okay, can you make the following sentence into the past, the present, and the future tense? Okay guys, we need to make this sentence into the past, present, and future. Okay, who will answer these questions? I like going to Manchester with my mom. Please raise your right hand. Okay, Loida. Your answers, I like going to Manchester with my mom, refers to what kinds of verb tenses? Your answer is present tense. Okay, correct. How about the past and future? Anyone? Okay, Mr. Gabi. Your answer is, I like going to Manchester with my mom. Is what kind of verb tenses? Your answer is past tense. Okay, th that's correct because uh, the sentence when an event has already happened. How about to construct in future tense? Okay. Okay, class. In one. Okay, please stand up, Mr. Rulin. Okay, your answer is, I will like going to Manchester with my mom. Is what kind of verb tenses? Is it future tense? That's correct. Okay, did you get it? Okay. Okay, last question. I swam in the pool on Wednesday. So this sentence is a kind of verb tenses refers to the past tense, right? Okay, and now, how will you elaborate this sentence using a present and future tense? Anyone? Okay, your answer... Ruby is, I am swimming in the fall on Wednesday, refers to the verb tenses, present tense. That's correct. So, how about in future tense? Uh, anyone? Okay, please stand up, Shella. Your, okay, your answer is, I will swim in the fall on Wednesday. So, is it, your answer is future tense. That's correct. Okay, did you get it, class? Okay. Okay, guys. We all know that everyone must be participative to our session today. And I am very happy so much because you already know how to elaborate using a kinds of sentences. So... We are done to our session. Always remember, class, whenever you are writing, you should try to stay in the sentence of all the way through. So for your assignment, make a sentence using a kinds of verb tenses. And each tenses must we have a pipe example and another assignment is a citing a synopsis and reflection if what you understand this topic okay class any reaction to our topic and assignment okay that's all for today so everyone is requested to stand up for the closing prayer in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, as we come to the end of our time together, we thank you for what having accomplished her today. May the matters discussed serve as a catalyst to move us forward and cause us to advance and see growth in all areas of our lives. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, guys. Goodbye. And see you to our next session. Bye.